Hey everybody, welcome back to my modern homestead for another savings challenge video. I just wanted to hop on here, whoops, bumping the tripod, sorry. I wanted to hop on here for just a few minutes today because I want to finish up a challenge because I have something exciting I'm working on for this week that I want to share with you. It's something that's finally coming together and I want to have at least one of these challenges out of the way and who doesn't want to ring a bell to finish these challenges? I know I do. So first things first, let's count and see how much money we've got. So we've got five, 10, I don't know if this is all in order. Yeah, see, it's just a very short challenge today. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. It's all wonky. That's all right. We'll fix it. Y'all, I hope you're having a great day. I hope y'all are not having ice. Oh my goodness, the ice around this country is crazy. One of the first things I want to do today uh, is not dump that stuff in the floor like I just did. Hold on. Let me grab it. Okay, here we go. Y'all, have y'all followed Mary Love Country Living or um, Donna Powered by Creativity. I just got off of there. Well, I missed their live. I did the replay because I was busy doing payroll for our business and totally forgot. But if you haven't been on there, you are missing a blessing. Y'all go back and watch it. Mary Love Country Living. But anyway, this is the winter challenge we have been working on. And I want to finish it. So let's scratch off our last one for today. Haha, ha, four dollars. I couldn't remember what was under here. And I didn't save these. Nope, I still didn't order my vacuum cleaner. I've got to get that ordered. But I did order some other stuff, but I'll talk about that later. One, two, three, and four. Ha! Huh? Challenge complete. Ding, ding, ding. Fully funded. Awesome. That's the first one for the year. All right, let's pull out our envelope. I went ahead and moved it to the front. Four dollars. Actually, let's just go ahead and count it and see what we've got. Ooh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 for the year. Woo woo. Yay. So, now that I'm done with it, I'm going to save it because I can do it next year. See, it's blank on this side, or I can cover this again with the scratch-off stickers. But since we finished it, let me move this out of the way. Let's put this in our envelope of finished challenges. Right here. There, there's our money I'm, that was left over at the end of the year last year because I needed more to make 100. I think I might have it, but I'm not sure. We're going to wait till the end of the month to see if we get anything else finished before we count that. Hopefully we do. So, ooh, I can't wait to do this one again. That's Donna, Powered by Creativity's Challenge. Okay. Okay. Now, I also wanted to go ahead and do, hmm, let me find a color I like. Yeah, we can use red. That'll be good. I want to do these. These are by Ellie on Earth. These are her Valentine challenges. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the dice once, and I'll use it for both cards. So I got a three on this first one. Oh, I hope I get bigger ones than that one. These are for my children's Valentines. Yep, they're within earshot. They're old enough. They'll be all right. <laughs> so six dollars total. So I'll take a five and a one. And I'll just clip this together. And I'll put it right here on the back of this. Oh. You know what? I have a Valentine's envelope, but I want to keep this separate. So we'll just do that. 
and I had this sweet little cross um, <laughs> whoops, clip that someone at church gave me at Christmas. I thought it was so sweet. Angela, I don't know if you watch my videos, but thank you. It's bounced around in a couple different places. So there we go. Y'all, I have been searching, 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 trying to figure out what I want to do with the savings challenge challenges. I want to do this, but I really want a faith focus. And it finally all came together. I've been praying about it. God heard those prayers. God blessed this, that desire of my heart. And he gave me what I needed to do. I've been feeling it coming, been feeling it coming. I knew it was going to come together sooner or later. And it did this week. And I'm so excited. We won't get to start it this week because I'll have to make it at the end of this week, which it's Tuesday now. So my things I ordered should be here Thursday or Friday. So I can work on that over the weekend. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to show that to you. Anyway, I put those extra $1 bills into our $100 savings challenge. And here I have the 100 envelopes. And it didn't occur to me when I started this that I could put more in that than $1, but hey, there's always next time. So let's put in our dice. Is it dice or die? Die is one, correct? I never can keep that straight. <laughs> Well, let me show you, y'all. I don't want to give it all away because I want to talk about it Friday. But I just want to give you a little sneak peek. Before I could ever figure out what I was doing, I knew I needed a planner. But I wanted to make my own. This is the Happy Planner. And this is the Nine Hole so that you can customize it. I've still got to print a cover. That reminds me I didn't do that today. I've been so busy I forgot. So I still need to do that. And these are some challenges I printed in it and I'll tell you the meaning behind them Friday. So I just want to show you what they are. But this is going to go in the front cover of my binder. It says the aged women likewise that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husband, not husbands, sober. Here in the Bible, this word means um, stable, wise, steady. That's what sober is there, which of course we don't want drunk women either, <laughs> but that's referring to character. To love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Titus 2, 3 through 5. So there's just a little clue of what's going on. But these, plus some other things I have coming, are for the inside of the binder. Not all of these will be used at once, but I found these, y'all. Are these not the prettiest? I got these at Hobby Lobby. These are vellum scrapbook papers. I originally got these to make envelopes with, and I've already drawn out the envelopes on here. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that line right there. So I have these. And I will make the envelopes, but it still leaves me a good size here left over that I can use on these pages because these are not big pages at all. And if you know anything about scrapbooking, you know you layer different papers on there. So perfect. So those are all the gold ones. And then I have some white ones because y'all, oh, y'all don't know me very well yet, but my favorite color combination, this beautiful blue and white and yellow. So I'm excited to use these. And then I have just some different, these are flower patterns. Are they not pretty? 
So I'm so excited to share with you on Friday what we're going to be doing. So I hope it can start coming together by the end. I hope it's Friday. Don't hold me to that. We'll try. We'll try to have this done by Friday. But this does have to do with budgeting and savings and making our own planner to do that. And no, you don't have to make your own planner to do this. You can use, oh, in fact, I should have shown you something else. I'll show that to you next week too. You can use one of these. You can use a three ring binder like this and make your own cover for it. Or I need to grab the other notebook. Let me show you. Here we go. Or you can use a little paper three ring binder that has the pockets and the three rings in the middle. But this just happened to be laying right here with it. And this is what I was gonna, I mean, this is what I was thinking just a minute ago that I didn't have that I thought I would share with you another day. But since I have it, let's go ahead and talk about it. These are dividers that go into, I mean, I guess you could use them in a binder like this, but they're made to go into a three ring binder like this one. And they're divider pages and before my idea for the binder I'm making fully came together in my head, I was thinking until that idea fully developed in my brain, I could use this idea. And y'all, you can use this. I, this is what I was going to do with it. I was going to put my challenges and envelopes that went together in each little pocket. I even thought about taping or gluing or some way sticking the envelope on the outside part and putting the challenge down into the pocket. So many possibilities. So this is a great option if you don't want to spend the money on a binder or you don't want to make a binder. Remember, this is about saving money, not spending as much money as you can. So if you don't want to or you don't have it, not a problem at all. Make it work for you. You can do this. So you all, I. Like I said, I just wanted to hop on here and share that with you real quick. But you know what? This $5 is sitting here staring at me, just begging for me to use it. Janet, use me. Okay, okay, $5, we can use you. Let's figure this out. Hmm. All right, Mary, do I want to hear me roar in 24 and let my voice ring loud and clear? Or do I want to do this one? <laughs> decisions, decisions. Let's do this one. Remember not the former things, nor remember the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Y'all, when we don't have the way... And when it just seems impossible, he will make a way in the desert. He will bring forth rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Got a $5 bill. So we're going to cover up one of these fives with a scratch-off sticker. Ooh, and try not to dump this stuff everywhere because we need it. All right. Looks like I'm actually going to have to have two videos to show you what I want to do because I don't want to forget my other challenges either. That's not a bad thing. That's an awesome thing. Whoa, how did we do that? That one's empty. All right, well, let's grab another sheet. A scratch off sticker thief in my house. Oh, speaking of that, y'all. <laughs> I woke up this morning and was walking through the house and looked down at the shop and my shop door was open. I hate when stuff like that happens. All sorts of stuff goes through your head. All right, let's cover up this five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five more left. So with this being a New Year's specific challenge and this one, I really need to get these two finished first. So I'll have to figure out those numbers and see what we can do. Oh, I guess we need to put the money in there, don't we? <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got so far. I need to get some gym clips. So make sure I don't leave anything in there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. 
Ooh, we're getting there, y'all. If I don't already have enough in my finished challenge envelope or pocket to make 100, I know by the time we get done with one of these two that we'll definitely have enough. So anyway, y'all, that's all I have for today. Short and sweet, nothing fancy. I just had to share my idea with you and I can't wait till we get that video done where I can show you us working on it and what we're doing with it. <sighs> y'all, I hope you are having a beautiful day. I hope you're staying warm. I hope your bellies are full and your beds are cozy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. You know I love it when you come and spend a few minutes with me. So, until we meet again, may you be blessed. Love you guys. Bye.